Super Wild Card Weekend. Welcome to the first week of the NFL playoffs. We are going up against the six-seeded Houston Texans with Bryce Young at the quarterback. Sunday night football, which will end off Super Wild Card Weekend because they don't have a Monday night game in Madden for some reason. But the last game to end off Wild Card Weekend will be Raiders, Texans, I think a Dolphins Chiefs or a Vikings Cowboys or even Commanders Packers probably should end it off, but I'm not complaining. What a way to end it off. We got Bengals Broncos at the top. We got Dolphins Chiefs. You can't see the Chiefs, but the Chiefs are the five seed below me. And we got Bucks Lions, Commanders Packers, Vikings Cowboys with the Titans and the Niners as the one seeds. Now, let me go over my season stats. Now, my final stats for the season 113 pass rating, 5,300 yards. 45 touchdowns and 10 picks. And just an FYI, I, I mean 11 picks. I had 10 picks around, I want to say, week 7. Week 8, I want to say I had 10 picks. Since then, I only threw one interception. Uh, my longest pass was 81 yards. I was sacked 45 times, which is a lot. 59% completion percentage. 10 yards per attempt. 315 yards per game. And then rushing-wise, second in the league for QBs for rushing yards. 784 rushing yards. And third... Tied for second overall in rushing touchdowns. Average 46 yards a game. I did fumble nine times. 67 yards at the contact. And my longest run was 29 yards. But those are the stats of CJ Lewis. Will I win MVP? You're going to have to stay tuned and find that out at the end of this, um, the playoffs, the season, whatever. But without further ado, let's get into this game against Bryce Young and the Houston Texans. Las Vegas. There he is. CJ Lewis. In Allegiant Stadium, second wild card appearance in three years for the Raiders, looking to get a big win. Last time they were here, they lost to the Bengals, all right, the eventual AFC champions, but they have a new quarterback at home. They have C.J. Lewis in this dominant offense with Josh Jacobs, Devontae Adams, Jordan Addison, the rookie, Darren Waller, and Hunter Renfro going up against the rookie Bryce Young, as you see, number 14. And the young Houston Texans that kind of are the Jacksonville Jaguars of this year. Super young team, not expected to make the playoffs, made a push and are the sixth seed. The Texans come out the gate with a touchdown. And as you can see, the Denver Broncos take out the Bengals. The seventh seed takes out the two seed as Josh Jacob gets a big run by 10 points. So that means the Broncos will be facing the Tennessee Titans in round two, and we will have to face the Dolphins or the Chiefs if we get out of this game. Now, if we have to face the Chiefs, bro, for a third time this year, that's going to be interesting because we are 1-1 one one against them as Josh Jacobs gets going red hot today. The Buccaneers win. The Commanders take out the Packers by three points. Packers made it at 8-9. and nine. That's uh, that's kind of a surprise. The uh, NFC was not good. The Texans made it at 7 and 10. Darren Waller, big reception there for 26 yards. What a catch through the high ball. And if we win this game, we will have to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs winning by four points. All right. That's closer than I thought, but I feel like the Chiefs would have been the favorite in that game. And Josh Jacobs is coming out of the gate red hot so far in this game. He has not been great all season. Did have over a thousand yards rushing, but only, I believe, four or six touchdowns in. Was very slow. He, a lot of carries, not many yards, but he's going to get stopped there. But he is starting off red hot today so far. As we have a second and 11, we're going to go to the passing game here. The Cowboys take out the Vikings. Another lower seed winning as Devontae Adams beats his man. And gets down to the three-yard line. We have a chance here to get into the end zone. Can we do it? Hunter Renfro is my main guy on this route. Let's see if we can get it. And Hunter Renfro does not do anything there. Second and goal. Hunter Renfro kind of sold that play, not going to lie. Did not run his route. But uh, you can always count on Darren Waller to get you in the end zone. And this game is all tied up. We got a third and eight here after the Texans went on a three and out. We got the ball at midfield. And as you can see, we've only moved two yards. Darren Waller, once again, is going to come up huge. He has been... By far my favorite target, Devontae Adams hasn't seen many catches later on in the season because this man, Darren Waller, has been automatic. He has been absolutely insane. Uh, I'm looking for the end zone. I'm looking at Waller. 
or Renfro. And Waller is going to be that guy finding the end zone for the second time in this game. And we're going to take a 14-7 lead. The Texans do not answer back. So let's see what we can do on this drive with 520 left. First play is going to go to Josh Jacobs on the ground. And he's going to get about, I want to say, four. He slowed down a little bit, but a solid gain. We got a third and eight here. Hunter Renfro is on a very desirable route here. Can he get the separation? He does not. I'm going to have to kick it out to Josh Jacobs. I was under pressure, and we're going to have to punt here. And by punt, I mean kick a near 50-yard, if that, field goal to take a 17-7 lead. The um, Texans, once again, go on a three and out. Leave us about a little under two minutes left uh, to go down the field and possibly get another field goal. So let's see if we can do just that. Uh, Devontae Adams gets it somehow. The safety, I guess, underplayed that a little bit. I don't know how that ball got to him, but it did. And I will definitely take it. That takes us to about midfield here. Hunter Renfro, they're playing press coverage a little. And Devontae Adams, can I get it to him? I do. We get all the way down to the 20. Devontae Adams, what a catch. We're going to let the clock run out a little. So we don't get the Texans another opportunity. We're running a bit fast. Darren Waller. I'm going to throw a high pass. Can he hold on? Nope. He gets speared in the back. Alrighty, 12 seconds. If we can get it off quick enough, we got about two chances in the end zone. And I'm going to give it to 87. He misses. We got one more shot at the end zone. One more shot at the end zone. Let me find a play. I know Devontae's got double me. And I'm actually going to put him on a streaking route here. And see what can happen. And that's a bad pass, to be honest. Nearly picked, but it's not. But we're going to have to settle for a field goal. Even one second on the clock. And we got the ball at halftime, I forgot. So we are sitting pretty right now. Especially if we can get uh, any type of score here. Uh, it won't look good for the Texans, who have yet to put a point since their first drive. Uh, not not great for them. Not great for them at all. Defense has been locking down. Josh Jacobs has definitely slowed down a bit. But he's still getting a solid about four yards a carry. Almost five yards a carry. So I will definitely take that. It's been better than what he's been all season. Can he get us his first down, though? No, he does not. And the Texans finally put up points and cut this to a one-possession lead. This is where we need to put up points on the scoreboard. As Devontae Adams... I, I'm sorry, Devontae. I ruined that play. If I lost that up or threw a high pass, that was a touchdown. But I didn't. And I hate myself for it. Uh, Darren Waller, though, is not going to save me. Oh, my God. All right, they're going to be pressing Devontae again. I need to give him redemption if that safety doesn't play deep. And he doesn't. I'm going to throw a high pass. He's going to get... He dropped it, Devontae. Devontae. And another three and out. They can take the lead here now. They didn't take the lead, but they did cut it to a three-point game. We need to actually move the ball on this drive. Would be nice. That's a interception. That That's what that is. That's an interception. This is wow. And just like that, the start of the fourth quarter, the Texans now have a four-point lead and all the momentum in the world. Jordan Addison, what was that? I didn't even know what route he ran. What's the flag? Is it rough in the pa pass interference? Defense is on number four. It is on number four. Wow, we actually get a good call. Pass interference. About damn time. Oh, that we needed that. We caught we caught a break there. And I'm gonna have to trust. Second ten. Definitely been the tale of two halves here. I have been abysmal in the second half. Abysmal. Come on. Come on, that should be... You You would think that would have the distance, right? No, of course not. Why would it? Why would it? I only upgraded, you know, all my stats. And it doesn't have the distance. Great, now we got a third and ten here. I've thrown, like, I want to say eight incompletions. Josh Jacobs can't run his route correctly. Is What's that flag going to be now? Am I going to get bailed out again? Uh, Yep, pass interference. Oh, the refs definitely got money on us. They are on our side this game. Back to pass, 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 pass. Back-to-back -back pass interference calls. And number 87 is on the run. And he's in the end zone to give us our lead right back. Max Williams with the touchdown. And the Texans end up turning it over. So we can take a possible two-possession lead here. Can we get it done? Is my question. Can Josh Jacobs stay in bounds? He does. Three-yard line. 12-25. 257 yards. A 
three touchdowns and a pick. Not a great game from C.J. Lewis whatsoever. And I have noticed that all of our touchdowns have came from tight end. So let's change that with the rookie getting in the end zone, giving us a two-possession lead. 521 left, and the Texans once again went on a three and out to give us the ball right back. And now it's just milk the clock as much as possible. Third and two. Josh Jacobs, we need this first down. Can he get it? He does? He does get it. Oh, you barely got that, Mr. Jacobs. And I have not even ran the ball once this game. Just not. They've just had that locked down. They have more total yards than us, too. Yeah, they've had the, run, the QB run locked down as Josh Jacobs goes absolutely nowhere. They've had, they've had him locked down also in this second half. And... Oh, that safety moving looks way too enticing. That safety moving looks way too enticing. But, of course, that should have been pass interference. But it wasn't. Am I the only one that saw that cornerback just all hands all over Devontae Adams? Not allowing him to run his route. Am I the only one that saw that? Probably. But Darren Waller... I don't understand how they react that, uh, that, 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 that quick. 113 left. The Texans failed to score. And now they got three timeouts, so it's going to take a while, but we just got to run out the clock. And just like that, we barely survive a Texans comeback. And is that Stephon Gilmore? No, that ain't. 24, that tripped me out. We win. 34 to 24 is your final score. Don't let the 10 point victory fool you. We did not play a good second half whatsoever. Got bailed out by the refs on two pass interference calls. And I did not have a good game. The Texans played a... Look, our, we pressured their quarterback 20 times. That's probably what won us the game. But what a game. And we now have to go against the Chiefs. And we're not looking very good going into that game. Final stats. Bryce Young, 30 for 50. He threw the ball 50 times. 338 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. C.J. Lewis, 14 for 29. 268 yards, four touchdowns, and a pick. Not a good game completion-wise for me. Under 50%. That is just not good. Uh, Rushing-wise, Damian Pierce led the game with a touchdown also. Josh Jacobs started off hot, did nothing since. Uh, Receiving-wise, Devontae Adams led us in yards. No touchdowns, though. Michael Meyer, he had uh, 100 yards. Darren Waller, 79 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, we also had Max Williams with a touchdown. And Jordan Addison, his only catch, went for a touchdown. If we look at sacks, we can see that Max Crosby was the only sack in the game. And... Damonte Kazi, I probably said that wrong, had an interception, and Diablo, Divine Diablo, had a pick also. Now we go into, oh no, we're at home. We're going to stay in Las Vegas to take on the fifth seeded Chiefs, who we split the season series with 1 to 1. That's going to be for me. GG.